What's up everybody? Today I am back here again. We are going to be working on the Monte Carlo SS once again. This should be hopefully the last job we do to it, which is replacing the crankshaft position sensor. And uh, I think in the last video you guys may have seen me do the EVAP purge valve, the oil pressure switch, and the fuel pump. So let's go ahead and jump into this project and get this thing done. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is take off this strut tower brace here. There's two 13 millimeter bolts over here and two over there. Get those off and then this whole bar just pops off and then you're also going to want to take off your coolant tank here and it's two 10 millimeter bolts here and then once you get those off this whole thing just should just slide up we'll just get that out of the way and then next let me grab a light here what you're going to want to do is on this tensioner right here. This is a 15 millimeter. Put that on there, put the socket on there, pull it away, and then we're going to get this belt off. Just like that, and now it's off. All right, so now we have all that off, belt off and everything. Let's go ahead and jack this thing up take this passenger side wheel off and we'll get underneath here and get to work. All right, so next we have to get this plastic cover off and there's three clips. There's one here, there, and then there's one all the way back here. And I can show you guys that when I get taking these off. Alright, so now we were finally able to break that bolt loose. That took forever. And as you guys can see now, it just spins out. So that's finally out. Ended up having to use an impact, WD-40, heat gun, and all sorts of stuff. Uh, the easiest way to do it is I took this breaker bar here and the correct size sockets, which I think was like a... I like them look here real quick. It was a 15 16 socket and put it on the end of the bolt and then took this breaker bar, put it up inside here and put it on the end of the socket and then just turn the motor over and then just shut off real quick so the starter itself would put enough torque on it to get that bolt to break loose. Other than that, now you guys can see it's off. Now we gotta do is just get that pulley off. All right, so now we gotta put on our harmonic balance puller here. And the bolts that come with this aren't the correct size in the package, so you have to go pick up your own bolts, which are these, and they are that, a quarter inch by 28 by 3. So if you guys need to know what the correct one is, that's what it is. You got three of them. So you do so line this up here, and this should just slide in the hole and thread in. started we'll go ahead and tighten them down the rest of the way
you guys have it. It's all out now. So as you can see here, this is the piece that we will be replacing. So I need to get rid of this plastic cover and unclip this. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that plastic piece is off, looks like we just got to remove this bolt and this bolt here and this assembly should come out. part we got it all off and then here's a new one they are both the same so let's go and put this new one on now So now that that is back on, let's go ahead and put our plastic cover back. And now we will just plug this back in. So now it's all set, all we gotta do is put the uh, pulley back on, torque it down, and uh, put this belt back on and everything else, and we should be good to go. All right, so now we got our pulley back on, just need to put the bolt in, we got it lined up with the key slot that's on there. So let's go ahead and thread our bolt back in there. Alright, so we got our bolt completely tightened down and torqued, it's good to go. All that's left to do is put our pulley back on and put our strut tire back on and we should be good. So let's go ahead and finish that up. You can see here, we got our belts all back on. Now it's left to do is put this coolant reservoir back. So this should just slide down there.
you guys have it. We got the crankshaft position sensor back in. All it's left to do is just start this thing, make sure it runs perfect. Uh, I guess I still need to put on that, whatever that dust shield or that cover for over top of that pulley. But other than that, we should be done. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.